Hey everybody, this is Rafi Zerb, and in this video we're going to go through the drop-down menu component in Foundation. So the drop-down menu component is a way to create drop-downs in your navigation. So something like this, where you can have multi-level drop-downs. This is specific for navigation. That's why it's called the drop-down menu. So this is as opposed to the drop-down component in Foundation, which is made for arbitrary content. This is specifically for navigation. So I want to show you how to use this component and some of the different modifications that you can do with it. So let's go ahead and hop over to an example and we'll build this out for you. Okay, so we're going to start our menu with a UL with a class of menu. Now, this is very similar to just using the regular menu component in Foundation, but the drop-down menu uh, is a JavaScript plugin to add on to this um, standard menu. So we're going to go ahead and add some list items in here. We're going to create our menu. Now I've added some really simple CSS to this demo just so um, you can visualize the menu just a little bit better. So it's really simple. If you add a background to the menu class and then uh, you know change the color of the anchor tags, you can style this really nicely and quickly. Okay, so from here we need to add two things to make this a drop-down menu. So first thing is the JavaScript. So data dash drop-down menu. So this is a data attribute that's going to tell the foundation JavaScript that this component is uh, can now contain a dropdown. And then the other class that we're going to add on here is the dropdown class. Oh, sorry, the, the only class. Um, and so this dropdown class makes sure that the uh, menu gets the proper styling for a dropdown, which is the arrow. Now, you don't see an arrow just yet over here because we have not actually created a nested uh, menu. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to copy these things here. Uh, and then let's go into one of these. So let's say we want item number two to have a drop down. So I'm going to find the second list item. I'm going to nest inside of that right after the anchor tag here a UL with a class of menu. All right. So in here, let's go ahead and add our list items. So now we have a nested menu inside of item number two. And as you can see, item number two now has a drop down arrow next to it. And then when we hover over it, you can see the drop down open up. So that's how you can create a drop down in Foundation really fast, drop down menu. So all we did was add a class of dropdown to our menu component and then data dash dropdown menu. When you nest a UL with a class of menu inside of that, uh, the foundation JavaScript already knows to make this a dropdown. And you don't need to put any additional classes other than menu, um, so it's a repeatable component. And you'll see that it creates the dropdown. Now, if we want to create another level of dropdown, let's say inside of this, we definitely can. So I'm going to copy this UL with a class of menu that is nested here. And I'm actually going to nest this inside. So let's choose uh, item number four. So item number four inside of this uh, nested dropdown, or inside this dropdown, I'm going to add another nested UL. Cool. So let's scoot that over and there we go. It's a little bit easier to read that way. So now we have a one level of uh, dropdown and then another level of dropdown inside of that here in the code. So if I'm going to go over here to my example and open it up, you can see that now the arrow is pointing over to the right and another dropdown opens up from that. So uh, this is a really easy way to set up multi-level dropdowns. And so they just open up on hover and uh, you know they're linked together really nicely. So we could go another level deeper if you want, or you can go as many levels deep as you want. Now the caveat with that is that 
you don't want to go probably more than three levels deep. At that point, you start to lose your users. Maybe your navigation is a little too, um, too cluttered and it might be a good idea to flatten out some of your navigation items. Uh, so probably three levels deep is the most we would recommend. I would recommend um, definitely less. It would just be easier for your users to navigate through your website. But there you go, you can nest these uh, infinitely if you need to. So that is the basics of creating a drop-down menu in Foundation. This is one extension to the menu component. There's a few others. Um, but I'm gonna show you that you can also make this in a sidebar or something that is a little bit narrower. So let's go ahead and take this entire menu system that we just built and we'll remove it for now. And we'll just add a simple grid system in here. So we'll do um, a row and then let's do a uh, let's do medium dash four and then columns. So I'm using some of the shortcuts built into uh, CodePen here. It's like um, like Emmet uh, to build some of these classes. So I'm I have these medium four columns, and now I'm going to uh, move my menu inside of that. So you can see right now it's pretty cramped. So I have a plan for this, don't worry. So we're going to, let's push that over just a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and add a class of vertical. So these drop downs can work in a vertical orientation as well. So now that I've added the class of vertical onto the menu, it's still a drop down. It's still gonna act as a drop down, but now it's gonna act as a fly out type of drop down. So this is really nice. Also, there is edge detection as you can see here, so it doesn't want to overflow the edge. It's going to open up in the opposite direction. Uh, so that's kind of a nice feature. You don't have to think too much if your uh, menus are going to flow off the page. Although at this point, I might you know try to flatten out my navigation again. So this is how you can create a vertical sidebar with a flyout menu just using the vertical class. Now. There's a lot of modifications that you could do to these drop-down menus. So let's take a look at the section where all this is covered. If we go down to the, first of all, let's go to the SAS reference. You can see that there are SAS variables here. So if you're using the SAS version of Foundation, you can change the drop-down menu arrow size. You could choose, change the arrow color. Um, you can even turn the arrows on and off using this uh, drop down arrows um, variable. Set that to false and then the arrows will disappear. So lots of really cool options there for the drop down menus. And when we move into the JavaScript options, uh, there are a lot of JavaScript options that you can add on to these. These are data options and uh, our data attributes. And I'm going to show you how to do it with a data attribute. Now you can do this with data options or you can do it in the JavaScript as well, but this is the most common way to do it. I'm gonna show you in the data options. So let's take a look at some of these. Um, I'm gonna choose one of them to show you how it works. So let's choose data dash close on click. So here it is. I'm just gonna copy this. We're gonna hop over to this section and we're going to add data dash close on click and we're going to set that to true. So this will allow clicking on the body anywhere outside of the drop down to close the drop down. So probably what we need to do is also uh, set data dash click open to true. So that way when we click on one of these, it'll actually stay open. So let's set that to true. Okay. So now if I click on the dropdown, it stays open. So that's what that data attribute does. Data dash click open. And the other data attribute we have on here, data dash click, uh, data dash close on click. If you set that to true, then clicking on the body outside of the drop down will actually close it. 
So there's some different data attributes that you can add to this to really change the functionality and get it the way that you want. So this pretty much covers the drop down menu component in Foundation. There's also the drill down menu and accordion menu. We have other videos on that. And if you want to learn about all the components in Foundation, check out our Intro to Foundation course. I'll put the link below. And this is Rafi from the Foundation team signing off. Thanks for watching.